Okay, uh, today we're going to go over the system software cannot be run correctly error. If you guys are getting this error, this is a, a very common error that's coming up with the PlayStations right now. And so, wh what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to show you how to repair this without having to buy a new hard drive. There's too many other features out there that are telling you to buy a new hard drive. Yeah, you can go out and spend 60, 70, 80, 100 bucks on a new hard drive, but you don't need to. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to actually show you how to get rid of that. And we have a step by step guide down in the link. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to go into safe mode. One of the main things about safe mode is that you can do some formatting. But what's what's uh, useless about this type of software won't let you do any formatting. So you get into stuck in a rut, and you have to pay somebody $150 to repair it. So let it beep once while we're holding it down, twice, and it goes into off. Then we're going to hold it again, and it's going to beep once. And it's going to beep twice, two consecutively like that, and then we're going to let go. And then going to go into the safe mode category. It's going to ask you to push your your power button on your your controller. I'll get up here in just a second. And you push it. And then if you try to do a, a re uh, restore the PS3 system which formats your hard drive, you go back to the same error. If you try to do your system update, you go back into the same error. So you're stuck in the loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, um, go in here and uh, fix this problem through the techniques I'm showing you in the step-by-step -step guide. So I'll be back in a few and uh, take a look at the step-by-step -step guide and uh, we'll repair this uh, PlayStation. So once the update is, is complete, it'll be prompting you to actually go in and actually, you know, set up your username, your time zone, and uh, your network settings. Now at this point, you can go to your your PlayStation Store and download all your games. Make sure you use the same username as you, the ones that you download all your games to. So, hope this has been helpful. You're not going to be able to have to go out and buy a brand new hard drive. If you do, it's very, very seldom. I, I'm starting to see a lot of these PlayStations come in this way, but I've only had to place one hard drive, and that's that's pretty amazing. It's over a 95% chance uh, of this being fixed, and it'll save you quite a bit of money. So. I have over 15 years experience in repairing electronics, uh, working for companies like Radius's, Nortel Networks, and Intel, and so I hope this has been helpful, and uh, enjoy, and uh, download my guide, and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you.